Hi, Matthew. Hello. Are we going to shake hands? Why? And what is this, the Masons? The table's going to be five minutes. Do you want a drink while I wait? Vodka. With ice and a twist of lime. I don't think so. You asked if I wanted a drink. Yeah, well, I might run to a half a bitter, but spirits, no way. Well, I'll get them myself then. Excuse me. Oh, look, don't be ridiculous. Hang on a sec, will you? Put that away. And where'd you get cash like that anyway? Paper round. Really? <laughs> what, and get up at six in the morning? So where'd you get it? Well, it was my initiative. I don't think I like the sound of this. Well, actually, I mugged an old lady. What's your problem? I asked for a drink and I'm not getting it. Fair enough. Two halves a bitter, please. A bit is for plebs. I'll have an orange juice, please. Big choice. A bit bourgeois for you in it, this place. Is it? Well, the story was, was that you were a man of the people. I was expecting some greasy spoon. Is that what your mother told you? Well, it's just not what I'd expect from some pinko like you. <laughs> pinko? <laughs> Uh, have you made up your mind yet? Yeah, the uh, steak of half is made rare. Cheers. Right, um, uh, I'll have the, uh, the fish, please. So, uh, where'd you get the idea that I'm a pinko? Are you denying it? You've been talking to your Uncle Brian? I can't think for myself, thank you. Yeah, but somebody must have said something. Look, I'm not a pinko, or anything else for that matter. I don't know what your Uncle Brian's been saying. But don't knock Brian. He's all right. Brian is not all right. Brian is very far from all right. Well, at least I've seen him every once in a while, eh? Oh, well, uh, let's forget about him for a bit, shall we? So, um, how's it working out at school? What GCSEs have you taken? Economics, history, politics, English, French, physics and maths. What grades? Five A's, two B's and a C. Whoa! So you'll be going on a college then, will you? I doubt it. No? Well, education is just a joke, really, isn't it? I mean, it's not like there's any jobs out there. Just to keep the kids off the street. Well, your mum tells me you're, uh, you're doing A-levels. Yeah. So, uh, what are you going to do after that, then? <laughs> oh, don't tell me. A lot of opportunities in market trading, is there? No, no, I wasn't going to say anything at all. It must have been a bit difficult for you recently, you know, what with your mother being in and out of hospital. Well, since when have you ever worried about Mum? Look, uh, the reason I wanted to see you today, I can understand you being angry. I haven't done the business really, have I? Uh, but what with starting a new job and, and, and moving into the new flat and everything, I... I'm sorry. I don't need your apologies. Listen here, you little tyke. I brought you here today because I'm trying to make the effort. I may not have been much of a dad to you in the past, but I'm doing my best. Now give me a break. Of course you've got to have market inspectors. That should just be chaos otherwise. The market's a self-regulating mechanism. It doesn't need any fits from you or anyone. If that's come from your Uncle Brian, he's even crazier than I thought. I told you I done economics GCSE. So according to you, right, any Tom, Dick and Harry can set up in my market, you know, and they'd be fighting in the streets. Oh. Have you ever heard of the law of supply and demand? It would work itself out, it would. <sighs> Look, let's, let's just agree to disagree, right? Does that mean I win? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it makes you happy. Look, um, I haven't uh, cleared this with your mum, and no doubt she'll have an opinion on the matter, but uh, I was wondering how you fancy sort of uh, coming to stay with me on the weekend, you know, once in a while. It's only a small flat. But, uh, there's a sofa. What do you think? My girlfriend's staying on. You push your luck, don't you? <laughs> Opinionated little so-and-so. Mind you, I was just like you at your age. So what went wrong? <laughs>